In today's video, we will be doing this Bella Hadid inspired kind of fox eye makeup look. So we're going to be walking you through exactly how to get this super lifted makeup look and we'll be showing you all the products you need to do it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel down below and you can hit the bell to be notified anytime we post. Let's just jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so I am actually starting with a bare face today because I want to really be able to focus on the eyes without worrying about any fallout. And if I need to clean anything up, I can after we do the eyes. So I have already primed my eyes with concealer and set them with powder. That's a super duper duper important step. If you want your eyeshadow to blend super seamlessly, you definitely need to do that step. So these are the two pictures that I am going to be referencing of Bella Hadid. You can see that she's kind of got like a warm kind of glowy eye, but we've got that fox eye happening. So I don't really want to take it quite as dramatic, I think, as hers. I think I'm going to try and keep it on the lighter side and then build it up and see kind of where it goes. I don't want it to be too dramatic right off the bat because I think with this type of eye, if you go in with too many dark colors right away, you can end up with something that looks a little bit crazy. So to start off, I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs palette and taking the shade Infamous. And I'm going to sweep that all over my lid and blend upwards. This is just to kind of lay down a neutral kind of taupey color so that all of the other shadows that we're going to apply have something to blend into. So something to understand about the fox eye is really that it's trying to lift your eye up. So we want everything to be going in this direction. That means our eyeshadow is going to be going in that direction. Our eyebrow is going to be going in that direction as much as we can get it to. And same thing with our contour. Everything is going to be going in the same direction to kind of create those illusions and lift your face. Now, lucky for me, I have eyebrows that already kind of go outward and they're very straight to begin with. So the eyebrow portion of this for me might be a little bit easier than it is for you if you have a high arch and then they come down a little bit further. Something you can do is cover up part of your brow with a little bit of concealer. I definitely don't recommend plucking your eyebrows off because you're most likely not gonna be wearing your eyebrows that way all the time. Unless you are, then you know, do your thing. But for those of you who just wanna try this as a fun look, I would just kind of cover up the part of your brow with a little bit of concealer that you don't want showing so that you can kind of get the illusion of that lifted brow. But we'll get to the brows in a little bit. Also something to keep in mind before we start is everybody has different eye shapes. So this is probably going to look different based on your eye shape. So just do your best. It's a fun technique and so hopefully today's tutorial will help you out. So I'm starting with a brush that is pretty dense on the top meaning that it doesn't have a whole lot of movement. It's not super fluffy, but it has a pointed tip so I can get really precise. So I'm actually gonna be mixing two shades from that Marc Jacobs palette. I'm gonna mix the first shade that we used, Infamous, with the shade Seeking. The reason I wanna mix these two shades is because I don't want the darker shade to be too intense right away. So I'm gonna be mixing it with that lighter shade so that we have more of a gradual transition. So instead of the traditional way of applying eyeshadow, which would be kind of like a more rounded shape and going from the outer corner into the crease, we're really gonna focus on this outer corner and flicking upwards. So you wanna connect everything with the end of your eyebrow. Mine should kind of end over here, but it doesn't. Like I said before, you wanna line it up with the edge of your eye and your nose. And this is where we're kind of aiming for, this section right here. So taking the brush, I'm going to start kind of along my lash line, applying the most pressure here, and then flicking upwards. And as I flick upwards, I'm going to make sure to not apply too much pressure as I'm going up. So the least amount of pressure will be up here and the most amount will be here. So I'm gonna to continue to go in with those two shades until I'm happy with the opacity. And also something else to keep in mind is we're kind of trying to create this triangle shape. So imagine kind of a line going from here up and then down to the bottom uh, lashes. So that's kind of the look we're, we're trying to create. So that's why I'm kind of running the shadow along the lash line super, super thinly. And then once it gets to here, it kind of goes a little bit thicker and then that's when it starts to go upwards. You also wanna make sure that you're trying to be as consistent as possible with flicking it upwards so that you aren't kind of going in all different directions, if that makes sense. So as you can see, just from those couple layers, we're already kind of getting this lifting effect. Based on your eye shape, I would suggest kind of going back in and finding any spots. Like for example, right here, it 
it looks a little bit kind of um, bare and it's kind of sticking out. So I'm gonna blend upwards a little bit, but your eye might not need that. So just make sure you're kind of like throughout this tutorial going back in and checking to see what your eyes might need. The more time you spend on this step, making sure everything is super like seamlessly blended here, the less time you're gonna have to spend and blending the darker colors. So now just switching to a smaller, same density brush. I'm gonna go in with that shade Seeking and really start to concentrate along the lower lash line here and then keeping this darker color along this kind of line that we're creating gonna, and it's going to be blending this way. So we're starting to see kind of that lifted eye form now I'm going to be taking a darker shade, but I'm gonna be mixing it with that medium shade so that it's not too dark, just like before. So now I'm really gonna be focusing on this almost like a liner, and I'm gonna bring bringing it along my lash line and basically just, it's going to hug this outer line and barely blend inwards. We don't wanna to bring too much darkness to the eye. And as you can see, it's blending so easily into the other colors because we did so much blending before. Alrighty, I feel like this is looking pretty good. It looks crazy because I don't have any other makeup on, but it's looking right. So I'm just going to take um, that smaller brush with hardly any product on it, and I'm just going to start to kind of add just a tiny bit to my crease. I don't want to do too much, and I don't want to bring it too low. So I'm going to keep it kind of high and just kind of pull it into my crease because when you look at her makeup, she does have a little bit on top of her crease. Alrighty, we're looking lifted. I love it. So now we're gonna go in with a couple shimmer shades. She has like a really warm, super pretty shimmer. So I'm gonna pick a couple. And of course you can pick whichever like tones you'd like or whatever works best with your eye color. I'm gonna go with some warm tones. So I'll be taking the shade Chai by Anastasia Beverly Hills and actually mixing it with a shade in the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which is called Double Life. So going back in with that flatter brush, I'm just gonna start to pack this super carefully along that dark darkness we've applied. Then just blending that out with a smaller round brush. What I love about using these fine shimmers is it kind of like goes in and hides any imperfections that you've got going on. I'm gonna take the shade from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I'm going to sweep that over top of my crease super, super lightly. Now taking the shade Ignite in the Born to Run palette and I'm going to put that on my inner corner and lid. I'm actually gonna take a coal liner. This one is from Laura Mercier in the shade Coco and I'm just gonna run this along my lash line and then flick it out. Then using a brush, I'm going to kind of extend it a little bit. Then I'm just kind of taking that and literally dotting it to blend that line a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna move on because things are getting a little crazy. I think I'm gonna be able to kind of like soften things when I put my foundation on and everything. So I'm gonna go in with our black liquid liner and I'm gonna stay really close to my lash line and just wing it out a tiny bit. We're gonna actually be doing a technique where I lay the lash a little bit above my lash line. So instead of letting it curve all the way to my outer corner of my eye, I'm gonna kind of make it go straight. So that's how I'm gonna do my liner, literally just taking a line from right here to right there. Now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara. All right, so the eyes are basically done. I haven't applied lashes yet, that's because I know that sometimes like powder can get on it when I do my face next, so I'm gonna hold off until the end, the big reveal. Now we're gonna do our face makeup. I'm gonna kind of run through this quickly. What really matters here is kind of the contouring. So I'm gonna apply my foundation, concealer, and I'm gonna set it and I will be right back. Okay, so I have foundation, concealer, and powder on. Now we're gonna bronze up. She's super bronzy in this picture, so I want to get us to be bronzed too. So I'm gonna go in with this Milani Dolce Bronzer, and I'm probably going to put on a good amount. I'm gonna go on my forehead and then underneath my cheekbones and underneath my jaw. I'm gonna leave this section open. I usually go in with bronzer there, but in order to keep this like lifted look, I wanna keep this open. So now I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer 
and I'm going to go underneath my cheekbones. Now remember, just like I said before, we want everything to go up in this same line. So you want to make sure that's parallel and you can even pull it a little higher than you normally would. Then of course, I'm going to go up into kind of my hairline area on my forehead. And of course, I'm going to go down my nose with that as well. Now I'm actually going to take the same bronzer and go underneath my lash line and just kind of pull upwards. And I'm also going to take that shade Ignite from the Urban Decay palette, and I'm gonna apply a little bit of that underneath the lash line as well. Okay, so I'm gonna apply a very peachy blush. This is Bellini Brunch by Bare Minerals. I just wanna apply this on the very top of my, kind of like apple on my cheek here. She's super glowy, so we're going to go in with a highlighter. This one is by Pixi. It's their Glowy Glossomer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. Now for the part I've been waiting for, which is brows. And like I said before, we want to keep the brows as like straight and pointed out as possible. And I want to keep them like, you know, naturally looking like and feathery. So I'm going to go in with the Benefit Brow Microfilling Pen. And I'm just going to keep everything going up and out. Now I'm going to go in with this MAC lipstick in the shade Lip Tensity. Okay, now we can apply our lashes. I'm so excited. Like I said, I'm going to be applying them more straight across. So there's going to be a little bit of a gap right here because I want it to look more lifted instead of more rounded. This is the finished look. I really like it. It took a lot more effort than I thought it would to get here. <laughs> Bella Hadid, you are one beautiful lady, okay? <laughs> Anyway, so this is our rendition of this look and that fox eye, eye lift. And I definitely feel like my eyes are lifted and, and our lashes are looking amazing. These are sassy lashes, like I said, and I am in love with them for this look. They are actually perfect. And I feel like my eyebrows and my eyeshadow and my contour, everything is just going up and I really love it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up down below and you can subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our tutorials. We do fun things like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below if there's anyone else you would like us to recreate a look for. If you need any eyeliner tips and tricks, you can watch this video right here. And in the meantime, we will see you next time.